For David Zoltan, a diabetic from Chicago, access to the Affordable Care Act has been a lifeline. If this administration has its way, I don't think I'll survive the next four years. Um, I don't think I'll last more than a year or two without Obamacare. We spoke with Zoltan a day after he was released from the hospital following surgery to amputate his toes. We originally met him in 2012, two years after he was among the first to sign up in Illinois for a health plan under the Affordable Care Act for people with pre-existing conditions. Prior to that, Zoltan was unemployed and uninsured, his diabetes repeatedly sending him to the emergency room when he ran out of insulin. And those were the two scariest years of my life. There were a number of times there where um, I came very close to, to not making it through. Um, and quite frankly, if I have to do that again, I don't know if I'll survive. Zoltan is far from alone in his support of former President Barack Obama's health care law. According to a new AP NORC poll, 53% of Americans say they want to keep the law. But nearly as many, 46%, say they want to see the law repealed. And few want to keep it entirely in its current form. I felt like this kind of got just pushed on us. And uh... Nebraska accountant Todd Blome ensures his family of five through Obamacare, but he believes the system is in dire need of change. Over the past four years, Blome says he's seen his premiums go up a whopping 250 percent. And despite early promises that he'd be able to keep both his insurance plan and his doctor, he says neither has been the case. I actually believed that we, I was was going to be able to keep my existing plan, and so I was a little surprised when immediately, right out of the gate, I was told, nope, those plans are gone. Still, Blome has a son who, like Zoltan, has diabetes. He appreciates the law's protections for people with pre-existing conditions and hopes that's a provision of the law that won't change. I don't think they can pull the rug out from people. That wouldn't be appropriate. So. I hope they come up with something. It's a hope shared by the majority of Americans. The poll found 56% are extremely or very concerned that many people will lose their coverage if the Affordable Care Act is repealed. Hours after taking office, President Donald Trump followed up on his campaign pledge to repeal and replace the law, signing an executive order to begin the process. Although Trump has said he wants to keep some of the law's consumer protections like the pre-existing condition coverage, it's unclear what the replacement will look like, leaving participants like Zoltan worried for their future. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.